Hey everybody, here we are uh, using soft voice and reverent voice in the Soldiers National Cemetery at Gettysburg. By way of reminder, this was uh, consecrated on November 19th, 1863, and this is why we're in Gettysburg, because yesterday, the 19th, every year it's Dedication Day here in the cemetery, and then on the 20th it's Remembrance Day, or sometime right around that, where there's a parade, and often there's one of the most overlooked and most interesting things, and it being November, it being cold, people don't always come out here and see something everybody should see, and that is an illumination on a battle. Field. In this case, in a cemetery with uh, just about every uh, illu luminary that you see representing uh, a dead soldier from the Battle of Gettysburg in this case. More than 3,500 um, of these luminaries will be around, as you'll see. And we want to thank the Gettysburg National Military Park uh, and our friends at the Gettysburg Foundation, both great partners of ours, for setting up this, this excellent event. Um, and we see some people around. We're not going to say a whole lot once we get into the cemetery, so we're just going to turn about that's Chris White behind the camera and show you just some little snippet of a luminaire of an illumination but we hope you can experience one on your own This is why I'm in Gettysburg. You're with the American Battlefield Trust, and here we are uh, in the Soldiers National Cemetery, thanks to the Gettysburg National Military Park and to the Gettysburg Foundation for setting up this illumination in the Soldiers National Cemetery.
So I believe by my latest count, count there are some 3,513 uh, Gettysburg dead, Union dead, who died on this northern battlefield um, in this cemetery. And of them, I believe 980 are completely unknown. They don't know their names, they don't know their state, they don't know their unit. And that's this section right here. There's another section like this with those 980 across from the Central Monument, the Soldiers National Monument, across the way from here. In addition to those 980, roughly um, 700 more are partly unknown, where they might know the state or a first name or the regiment and not the name um, that are scattered throughout the state plots around the cemetery. Uh, Chris, let's make our way toward the Central Monument where we'll probably wrap things up. I, I, I'm going to guess that by the lights of the other flashes and by the you know, gathering darkness, uh, you'll still be able to see at least the silhouette of the Soldiers National Monument. Everybody in the cemetery is in a semicircle around the central monument uh, to show that every soldier, you know, head toward the monument is equal. Nobody is, you know, uh, you know, superior to one another here in this cemetery. So this was all laid out very carefully and on purpose, and it's a, a good sort of beacon for the center. Many people figure that. That, Getty, that Lincoln must have delivered the Gettysburg Address in the middle? No, they were actively um, reburying soldiers when Lincoln was here. They'd only stopped for a day or so to allow for the consecration activities. Uh, the Gettysburg Address was actually about 120 yards away from here in the local town cemetery on a platform. Um, you know, so I think that's all we have to add. Our, again, our friends at the Gettysburg National Military Park, the Soldiers National Cemetery, and some of the volunteers you might be able to see around the monument um, guarding it at the time, uh, you know, while people are enjoying this and, you know, uh, experiencing, I would say, this illumination. And, and it is, there's nothing quite like it. So we hope you get to experience this one day. I'll leave it to Chris um, to do any moments of Zen to show you a little bit more of the scene around here. But for now, thanks for joining us for Gettysburg Remembrance Day and Dedication Day 2021.